Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Britland Park, beautiful Britland Park on this beautiful, sunny, clear day here in Fall River, Massachusetts. We're approaching the autumn season and today feels like we're almost at autumn. 70 degrees out here. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks come in to today's contest at two and one. Facing a familiar foe here in Monroe Express who comes into today's contest at 0 and one here on September the 17th, 2019. I'm David Cardoza. Your Bristol Community College starters are as followed. Guillermo Antunes, Devin Alves, Elma Barrientos, Nathan Cavallo, William Elliott, Sahadine Hamas, Paulo Lyra, Matthew Mauda, Wyatt Pinto, Brandon Souza, and Bradley Texera. Very young group. Bristol Community College comes in here today, coached, with, coached by Peter Nunes. And we are underway here at Britland Park. Bristol Community College trying to advance to be three and one here on the young season. Here. Okay, Bristol Community College in the white. Bristol Community College in the white with the green trimming. And the Monroe Express, they're in the lime green mesh jerseys. And we have a play it down. Hope it's all right. So again, your starters today for Bristol Community College. Guillermo Antunes, Devin Elves, Elmer Barrientos, Nathan Cavallo, William Elliott, Sal Hadin Hamas, Number 10, Paula Lyro. Number four, Matthew Malta. Number one, Wyatt Pinto. Number five, Brandon Souza. Number seven, Bradley Teixeira. A lot of freshmen on this team. That kick. And it looks like we're gonna have a, a side throw in. Bristol Community College will toss in here. Ooh, nice boot down the sideline. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds. Bristol Community College with a throw in. Ball around midfield. Now the ball's in the possession of Monroe. Monroe has the lime green throwovers right now because they have the same colors as Bristol. So it's tough to tell the numbers apart. Nice header there. Right back into Bristol territory. Bristol trying to get it out of its own end. Oh, good job there. That kick sails out of bounds. And it's gonna be a goal kick for Bristol Community College coming up now. 
Again, Bristol going against the Monroe College JV team out of the Bronx. Bristol Community College was successful last week when they faced Monroe College, a different team though. Paul's going to sail out of bounds. And Monroe Express. Monroe Express has had possession of the ball. Here in the early going on, they've had a couple shots near the goal. There's another one that's going to sail way out of here. Need a ball? All right, the Bristol goalie ready to blast this one. That's Wyatt Pinto, the Bristol goalie with a huge boot towards midfield. Monroe, Monroe's gonna get a free kick here. Just below midfield. Bristol Community College has barely been able to get it over there. Get over, the, get over midfield. Ball's gonna end up out of bounds. But it's going to stay right here. Monroe looking to set up a goal opportunity. That kick from the corner. Nice block there by the Bristol defender. But it's going to be a corner kick. Bristol trying to set up a wall here. Oh, nice header there. Nice header there by number five. That was Brandon Souza. Good job to get it out of there. Bringing it up the right sideline. Free pass, the kick, oh. Number nine, Guillermo Antunes had a free path towards the goal, but the Monroe defender deflected it. And Bristol's gonna get a corner kick here. And that didn't go as planned. Number 22, Saladin Hamas, instead of trying to get something going in front of the goal, elected to just drop it back, and that didn't go as planned, like I said. I'll tell you what, these lime green jerseys are frustrating. You can't even see the number. Bristol advanced it over the, over the midline.
Monroe College. Playing pass back in their own deep end. Couldn't get enough mustard on that one. Oh, nice job there. Nice job there, boxing out by Nathan Cavallo. And that's an errant pass there. That could be trouble. That could be trouble. Here's a boot. And Wyatt is there for the save. In goals number one, the freshman, Wyatt Pinto. The second save of the day. Ball's booted over the fence. There's a boot back into Bristol territory. Elves kicks it down the sideline. So far through 17 minutes, nil nil, nilly nilly. Monroe just been taking their time, very precise. And Bristol comes away with it. Kicking it back to the goalie, always a dangerous play. Yeah. We'll see who that went off of. I think that might have went off Bristol. Again, want to invite everybody here to Britland Park here in Fall River. Home game for the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, who are two and one here in the season. And this game has been one big pile of frustration so far. Coming down the left sideline, trying to dump it in. And Monroe will boot it out, and that's gonna be a corner kick coming up for the Bayhawks. See if he can get some elevation here on this kick. There it is, prompted up, a header. And off the rebound, that ball's kicked out of bounds. If there were uprights there, it would have been a field goal. We're going to have another corner kick coming up. Low kick and kicked out of bounds by Monroe. And we'll have our third consecutive corner kick. Another low kick and another ball booted out by the green. Ooh, nice little nifty play there. Monroe trying to get it out of there. Right back to midfield. 
and possession by Devin Elves. That ball is going to go out of bounds. And Bristol will, will have a throw in here. No score. Oh, nice boot. No one down there to go get it, though, as it goes out of bounds. There's a toss in. And Toons couldn't control it. Ball's in possession of Monroe. Monroe has some good fancy footwork here. Oh, nice. Nice defensive play by Els. I say so far, Monroe has showed better continuity with their, with their passing. Bristol just can't get anything going. There's a boot. Just couldn't quite connect. Ball ends up in the hands of... Oh, nice hit of there. That was the throw in. It's going to be a Bristol ball. Elves, ooh, hit his own teammate right in the face. That didn't have to, that didn't seem to feel good. Good Lord. Both teams really haven't had too many good scoring opportunities. If you approach the halfway mark here in the first half. All right, we're gonna get a kick here. Bristol just been chasing a lot of balls in their own end. I kick up now at midfield. Oh, it's a nice pass if it can get there. And coming out to make a stop was Pinto. Good heads up play by Pinto to come out of the goalie box. That was a nice kick there by Hamas, but it ends up out of bounds. There's a boot down the right sideline, only to go out of bounds. Bristol ball. Bristol will get a toss in here. In the corner, coming out. Just couldn't get good control of it. And Monroe manages. Oh. We have a Monroe, we have a Monroe player down at midfield. They'll help him up. 26 minutes to play here in the first half. Nil nil.
That clock continues to run. We'll see if they put any more time back on. Probably have some extra time here at the end of this first half. And we're going to have a boot here. We're going to have a kick here from midfield. Bristol trying to match up. There's a header there by Galerme. Coming up the left sideline. Oh, that's the guy. You want the ball on his feet there, number seven. Bradley Texera, who scored two goals in the last game against Monroe Express. Very dangerous. Bradley Texera, number seven for Bristol. Oh, oh, it's always oh, Express. Oh, what's yes. Okay, so instead of a throw in, we're going to have a kick on the right sideline. Nice play by the, Brun by the Monroe defender. Ooh, and they're going to call it. That's going to be a penalty. You said, is that a yellow card? What is that? Yeah. Called that a yellow card, so it's going to be a kick here. From the right side of the field. Kick is up. Nice header there to get it out of danger by the big man. Oh, try to get it to Texera, but he slipped. Now Gilly has it. Oh, and Monroe will kick it out of bounds. He gets throw in here. Ball's going to be out of bounds, and whose ball is it? Good job there. Good defense there by Monroe. Get it back to the goalie. Fighting it out. Elves, gets it to Guilherme. Could be an opportunity. Oh, nice nifty move there. There's a kick, and it's wide of the net. That was probably the best opportunity yet for Bristol. And Monroe will kick it out of danger.
All right, we're going to take a break here. We're going to have a timeout here on the field. The score here in the first half. 0-0. Zero, zero. Alves will handle it here. Going to bring it up. Kick towards the middle. Oh, a little miscommunication there. He tried to get it to his teammate. A little give and go action. And now Wyatt Pinto has possession of it, the goalie, goalkeeper for the Bayhawks. Throws it out to his left. Both teams with very few scoring opportunities. But if you ask me who's played the better game so far, it's Monroe. As that ball sails out of bounds. Good God. Good defensive play there. Pinto will kick it out from his own end. In my estimation, Monroe has played better team ball here today. They've been able to connect on more, on more passes to each other. They've been, look like they're more in sync. Looks like they have a clue here offensively. And it seems like Bristol just been Just been wishing on a hope and a prayer. Hopefully they can get it together. Where is the intensity? There's a nice ball there, Boot. Try to get to Texera. He falls down. That ball high. And again, here comes, here comes Monroe. There's the kick. Going to his left. Kick with the left. Oh, sails across the goalie box. Good spacing here now by Monroe, and we have a whistle here, it's going to be Bristol ball. Bristol has spent a lot of time on, on their heels. Nice pass there. Good header there by Elves. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta win them. No, play this one, play this one. Stop up, stop up. Who's right here? Right there, you good? Monroe will reset. Get it back to the goalie. Monroe will 
Nice breeze coming in through now. 60 minutes to play here in first half of action. Not much going on. Sousa up to Elves, kicking it middle. Monroe's definitely been Monroe's definitely been sharp on defense. Gilly with the big boot. Monroe has just been there. Every time, every time the Bayhawks try to advance the ball, try to get something going towards the net, Monroe has been there to boot it away. Making heads up defensive plays. Here's Gilly. Gets it up to midfield to Texera. Kicks it down. Deep into the territory of Monroe. Bristol still with possession. And that ball's gonna get deflected out of bounds. And it looks like to be in possession for Monroe. Toss in. Coming up on 13 minutes to play. And there's a nice boot right into the gut of the Monroe defender. Here's Gilly. Gilly keeps getting something going to the net and he gets knocked away. Zero, zero, the score. Not much going on offensively, obviously, for either team. And the open field with daylight in front of him. I think he wanted, I think he wanted Texera. Texera stopped running. Number three, Felipe De Freite is a sophomore. Had the ball in the middle of the field with a little bit of daylight, a little bit of grass in front of him. Tried to pass it up to Texera, but Texera seemed to stop running. Might have had a shot there. Monroe has been very methodical with their approach. Monroe looks to lull you asleep. Oh, nice pass. That ball has some spin on it. And now that ball's kicked out of bounds. 
And it's going to be a corner kick in a favorable position there for Monroe. Let's see what kind of defense Bristol gets in. How they will defend this corner kick here. That ball's high. Oh, getting up there high for the header. What a save there by DeFrentis. Boy, was that a nice header. Boy, did he get up high for that one. That was a good job there. That might have saved a goal. You never know. Throw in from the deep end. If we want to talk about time of possession, or who has had possession more, legitimately, legitimate possession of the ball. Definitely the team from the Bronx. They've had the ball a lot. And they've had the ball a lot in Bristol territory. Let's see if Bristol can step the game up here. Only the first half. So we broadcast from Britland Park here on FR Media, FRC Media. I'm David Cardoza. FRC Media, your, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Now let's see what the strategy is here. Do you want to... Do you want to kick a long ball that's going to go for not? They decide not to. Let's get some continuity here. Let's get some cool, crisp passing here. It just seems like Monroe is just swarming all over Bayhawks. All over them. They can't get anything together. Texera gets it into the corner. DeFreitas with a long kick. Will sail out of bounds. Ball? Ooh, that's what I'm waiting for. Wait for the Bayhawks to take chances. Bristol really not attacking, especially on defense. When Monroe has the ball, especially in their own end, I feel like Bristol should be all over them like a cheap suit, but they're not. And Bristol probably gonna have their best opportunity of the day. Nate Cavallo, a freshman, going to get one. If this is in basketball terms, it'd be at the top of the key. But right here at the top of the circle. And there's a kick. Oh. Bristol, Bristol did a good job of trying to get into the sight of the goalie. And that's a save. Going down the left sideline and kicked out of bounds. Boy, Bristol on the other end, they had a shot there. Coming out of his own corner, there's a kick. Way across the goalie box there and kicked out of bounds. We need to pick up the pace here, pick up the intensity here from Bitland Park. On the last days of summer. As the last days of summer tick down, there's a, there's a corner kick booted out by a Bristol defender. And that ball, will, that ball will skip across the path of the goalie and out of bounds. Not on goal. And we'll have a 
love a goal kick out here from the goalie. Mr. Wyatt Earp, or Wyatt Pinto, the gunslinger. Here's Nate. That was up to the... Here's Nate Cavallo. Left-handed kick. I mean, left-footed kick. Right into a crowd of lime green. Whatever kind of green that is. Whatever kind of color it is, it's putrid. It's bloody horrible. Kick the ball back there for safety. That kick is going to go out of bounds, it looks like. No will stay in and then knocked out of bounds. Monroe says it's theirs. It is. Clock winding down, winding down. 4.35 to play here. Coming up on three minutes to play. Not sure about the extra time. Pinto will just graze it over there to number four. Matthew Mata. It's a long trip to Texera. It's going to get kicked out of bounds. It's going to be kicked out of bounds by, by Monroe. Mata to inbound, toss to DeFreitas. Oh, nice pass there. It's up in the air. Oh. Tremendous opportunity there. Oh, you got to keep it in your own end. You got to keep it in your own end if you're Bristol. Now we have a now we have a kick move up, move up, move up, guys. going the other way towards Bristol. Monroe possession. Man, some dicey moments on that last possession. Bristol seemed to have a shot. Just couldn't find it. Just couldn't get it there. We have a long way to go. Ooh. That boot around midfield. Nice kick there. Oh. Texera wanted it. He wanted to go to the he wanted to go the distance. And looks to be Bristol ball. Just 
couldn't get enough on it. Ball lumbering around midfield. Kick it back to Elves. There's Moda. Moda. Moda getting a double team over there. Carvalho. Ooh. Just too much, too much gas on that one. He had Tekshir upfield. Oh wow, he blows right by him. That's what I mean, look at the passing. Oh, and there's a trip. Wow. That could be a game changer as time is winding down. Okay, whatever call it was, they're going to change it. And they, they take away what would have been a penalty kick or what would have been a, a free kick from that spot. And that will be it here for the first half. The referee calls half. And the score here at the end of the first half, nil-nil. Bristol Community College, zero. Monroe College, zero. Join us here for more second half action here on FRC Media for more Bayhawk soccer. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back here for some second half action here at the park, Britain Park. I am your host. I am your commentator, David. Cardoza. And we are going to get underway here for the second half. Hopefully we can have a little bit more entertainment here for you here in the second half. Bristol Community College. Two and one coming into today's contest. And they hope today not to end in a tie. God forbid. And we're underway here. Ball in the possession of Monroe College. Straight from the Bronx. Monroe College has, Monroe College has two campuses. Last week at Britland Park. Britland. Bristol Community College had a huge win over the other Monroe. In a shutout, in a shutout effort, 4-0. Four, four Today, Bristol can't seem to get anything going, but there's a lot of soccer that to be played, and that ball is a nice nifty shot on goal there, but the save by Pinto. Nice boot there as that sails all the way to the Monroe goalie. Here comes Gilly Gilly. Gilly chasing after that ball, trying to track it down. Monroe doing a good job of playing keep away. Nice, 
And we have a Monroe player down. And he will get, he will get up. Things, things, are started, things are starting to get a little chippy here. There's a big boot over midfield. Nate Cavallo. They're going to call some kind of a hold there on Cavallo. Got tied up. Got tied up with the Monroe player. And now Monroe's going to get a, a kick here. Ooh. Got to get it out of, got to get it out of there. Ball's going to be off Bristol. Quick throw in. Bristol needs to get it out of there. And Pinto. Pinto has the ball for a goal kick here. A ball lobbed up to midfield. Nice header there by Monroe. And booted out of there by Elliott. And out of bounds. So we'll get a toss in here. Monroe will spread out. Oh, good job to keep it in bounds. Oh, nice kick. Well, Monroe playing really aggressive now. Another ball that will sail out of bounds. Again, Monroe. A lot of a lot of possessions. Elliot, number 14, looking to boot it here. No, it won't be Elliot. It'll be Mata. Kicks that one into Monroe territory. We we'll get some more bumping. And they'll stop play again. Number 11, Nathan Cavallo from the circle. Oh, we're going to get something going towards the net there. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to be a little bit more aggressive going against that goalie. Going to make that goalie feel it. Nice boot by that goalie. Holy cow. Nate Cavallo loses possession. Right back goes Bristol. Little, nice little footwork there, but tried to get it up to Texera. Just couldn't connect with him. 
Monroe aggressively pushing it up. And tracking it down. Barrientos gets it in. Monroe. Nice block there by Alves. All right. We're approaching nine minutes in here in the second half. And it appears to be we're going to have a corner kick. A little bit of a corner kick here. There it is, up for grabs. We have a whistle. And it's going to be against Monroe. Come on, push it up, push it up. Monroe is talking a lot of trash. Team's starting to pick up the intensity here. Coming down the left sideline. And that ball is going to go out of bounds off of Monroe. You can hear the uh, Bayhawks faithful behind me. We have a goal kick here coming up. Here's Elliot, he's got a boot. Kicks it towards midfield, there's the man, Texera. Texera, and he's gonna get tripped up. Ooh. Monroe trying to get it out of, out of their territory. God, I thought Bristol had something there. All right, we have a throw in here by number 16. I can finally see his number. Nicholas Shapiro tosses it in. Gilly has that ball intercepted. Ooh. Ooh. Better get it out of danger quick. The more you let them sit around, Kicking the ball around in your own territory, bad things are going to happen. Bad things. That ball goes out of bounds. But still in possession favor of Monroe, as we'll get a toss in here. Throw it in. There's a kick. Try to get it to the middle of the field. Ooh! 
What a save there by Pinto. That was a nice shot on goal. Pinto with a diving save to his right. That was the best save of the day. Elliott goes middle with it. There's a big boot by Elliott. Had Tixera at the circle. It's Tixera, he's a skilled player. And that ball's gonna go off Bristol. And move. You better get up, young man. Here come the Bayhawks. Trying to get something brewing. Texera. Defritis. Oh, my goodness. Bristol just can't keep it there long enough. Monroe plays a very good possession game. Kicked down the right sideline and knocked away by Elliott. Good job by him. about 15 minutes into this second half. We have a corner kick coming up here. Corner kick, left hand, left foot a kick. Ball's in front of the net. Better get it out of there. Good job by Bristol, boy. Some tense moments there. That was a nice kick off the corner kick to get the ball in the middle. But nobody there to knock it home. Coming up on 20 minutes to play, 28 minutes to play. All right, so we get a big, that's a big boot. And it's gonna go out of bounds. Monroe has had all the opportunities. Just haven't been able to cast them in. Elliot up to number 10. I just heard somebody in the crowd say no communication. That has been the case indeed. No communication. Monroe looks like a team that's played together for a long time. Let's 
Like they know where they want to go with the ball. So it's going to be on Monroe. Elliott with a big kick there. Headed by Texera. Woo! So we have a kick coming up here for Monroe. Just before midfield. Again, time is run. 26 minutes to play. Oh, he's going to boot it. Over the head of Guilherme. Another big kick there. That ball headed right back to the goalie. Pinto has it. Pinto with a big boot to about midfield. It's actually going to go out of bounds. Not exactly what you want to see. Baby get escorted from the from the confines of Britland Park. <laughs> Here comes Elliot. Oh, there it is. Gonna go track it down. DeFritti is gonna get there and it's kicked out of bounds from Monroe. And we'll have a, have a sideline throw in here. So instead of possession being in favor of the Bayhawks, we're going to have a throw in here. Possession in favor of Monroe. Coming up on 23 minutes here to play. Kick to midfield. Cavallo, he's got it. And he loses. Just couldn't handle it long enough. Nate Cavallo. Salhamid. The kick, oh, good defensive play there. Go, 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 go. 
Thank you. There's a boot from the right sideline. All the way to the top. That was a gracious, that was a lovely boot. Guys just, players just, oh it's getting loud here. And we have a player down for Bristol. Looks to be Caballo, looks to be shaken up. Time's a ticking. Ticking away here by Monroe. Getting intense. Nice boot. Can't connect with anybody though. Great save by yours truly. <laughs> Shapiro with a nice toss in there. Oh, nice kick down the sideline. Oh, Pekshir was off to the races. Shapiro with another, with another kick here from the right side. Shapiro goes up, kicks it. Huge boot. But then knocked back to midfield by a Bristol defender. Oh Lord. Looked like there'd be some contact there. Here comes Barrientos. This has been a day of frustration, probably for both teams, as we're still at nil-nil. And there's another man on the ground looking to be tripped up, and it's going to be a kick. Going back the other way, nice boot there by DeFreitas. I'm sorry, Barrientos. This game has been a frustrating day for both teams. We're approaching the 17 minute mark. Let's 
We have great rays of sunshine out here, but on the field, there's been one big ray of frustration. Trying to set it up here at midfield. He's got a player coming down the right sideline. Well, Barrientos wins the foot race there. Elliott will boot it out. Here's Gilly. Gilly can't get a handle on it. Gets it back. Here comes Gilly Gilly. And there's a boot by Barrientos. Trying to get it to Teixeira. Teixeira in the open field. But the goalie will come up and beat him to it. Man down. We've had men down, we've had chippiness, we've had a hostile crowd, we've had babies being taken out of here, taken back in here, and we have a kick here right about the top. Bristol making a wall, there's Texera, there's a boot, but nobody can connect, that ball sails out of bounds. Couldn't connect with anybody down there. Under 15 minutes to play. Pinto kicks it in. Bristol needs, they got to get something to work. Bristol's had good defense in their own end. They just can't get it out of their own end half the time. So we have a toss in here. Barrientos will get it in. Elliott, the big left footed boot to midfield. Ooh. Not really a good decisive play there by Guilherme. Kicked it right back into the possession of Monroe. Ooh, trying to come away with it. Let's see if we can get some numbers here. Just the miscommunication. Seemingly not knowing where to go with the ball has been kind of dicey play. Huh? Dicey play in the offensive end. Monroe has controlled the game. They just haven't been able to score. Oh, there it is right there. Gilly with the opportunity. And coming from behind to make a great defensive play. Is that man in the ponytail? Wow. Gilly was all alone. And coming from behind 
to make that play was number 16, Nicholas Shapira. Corner kick. There it is. Man. Oh. And coming out of the goal, coming out of the goal to make that save. Man. Bristol with some opportunities now. Cavallo. That one just wide of the goal. But still, it's been better than the latter of what they've been doing here today. Right now, it's just a battle of attrition. It's just a battle of wills. Battle of blood, sweat, and tears. Who wants it more? 18. Oh, nice little, like around the back. There's a shot, Nate. To see if he can set, kick it. And it goes out of bounds. Wide. But Bristol finally showing some offensive life. Something they really haven't shown all day. Here's a corner kick. Let's see if he can get some elevation on it. What are we going to do? There's a boot. It's up. Header. It's a goal. Finally. And Bristol says, finally, it has happened to me. Bradley Texera, he's been waiting for it all day. And he got it. And the Bristol crowd loves it. And the score is 1-0. <laughs> oh, well, I'll be done. Life is about opportunity. And there you have it. Now, if you're Bristol, now it's just time to buckle down on D. And what have you, Monroe has controlled this game all day. They've been here. They've been in Bristol territory all day, causing havoc. Just been having, just haven't been able to find the ocean. Monroe has been patient. They've had opportunities. They've had possessions. They've had a good, good crisp passing. They seem to be on the same page. They've played with intensity. And just like that, Bristol Community College, the, opt, the ultimate opportunist. Might have another opportunity. Gilly tried to get there, just couldn't get there. And now desperately, Monroe trying to Get on the board here with very little time. Good job to keep it in bounds. That ball's high. That ball's high. And headed out of bounds by the Monroe defender. And it'll be Bristol possession. Yeah, it was a push. There's Elmer Barrientos. Nice kick.
Yeah, Gilly. Gilly seemed to hold up there. Couldn't get through the teeth of the Bristol defense. That ball gone there on the sideline. And it looks like it's going to be Bristol ball. Oh, goodness. My goodness. That could have been ugly. Pinto tosses it out to his left. Barrientos, Elma towards the center. Let's see what they call there. What an intense game. Bristol trying to advance to three and one on the young season. And here's one of their better kickers, one of their better athletes. Guillermo and Tunes over everybody, over everything. Right here. Watch it. I'm double. I'm double dipping over here. <laughs> I'm trying to hurt my shoulder. Cayo Diarajo. Coming up on the five minute mark at midfield. I don't know how he kept that in bounds. Sarah gets it out of harm's way, and then it goes out of, no, keeping it in. Keeping it in is Monroe. Oh, look at that footwork. Good job by Elliot to head it out of there. Boy, Monroe, it really has had a lot of possessions. Let it, they definitely dominated time of possession. If that is indeed a soccer stat, because they've been down here with numerous opportunities. Oh, there's a shot and a score and a goal! Wow! And what do you know, we're back at a tie game. What a boot. That came out of nowhere. It came, it seemed like it came out of a rocket. That's what happens when you dance with the devil all day. You're bound to get stabbed with one of his horns, and that's just what happened. 1-1. One, one. What well, looked like was going to be a game that Bristol would steal here today. Now we're back at a tie game. What a game.
approaching the three minute mark. Or should I say the 87 minute mark. Here's Cavallo. Kicks over to Elmer. Bristol has good spacing. Oh, he tripped. There it is. Oh my God, that's going to be a penalty kick. Took him right down. Monroe going to build Monroe going to build a lime green wall here. Yeah. Right now he's at a hole. I don't know what the Monroe goalie's doing. Hole left side of that goal. Now Guillermo, Guillermi in tunes, freshman. He's gonna kick it. Oh well, there it is. And Cavallo, they had what they wanted, and it sails out of bounds. And Tunes with the fake. And Cavallo right behind him. Missed the whole net. Coming up on the 88 minute mark. One to one. There's been very few scoring opportunities, very little scoring all day until here in the last five minutes. You got to get it out of harm's way. Got to get it out of there, D. There's Texera. Texera down the right sideline, but he'll kick it out of bounds. Monroe with it. Still don't know where to score that goal for Monroe. Good job to get that ball out of there. Come on, Bristol. You gotta break you gotta you gotta get down there. Right, it's under a minute to play here in the second half. Not sure about any extra time. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds off of Monroe. Bristol better hurry. Ooh, nice backwards kick there. You got open get you got an open player right here. Got to pay attention to detail. Better be careful. Better be careful here. Here comes Guilherme. And the referee's going to blow his whistle. That's going to be the end of the second half. Right. Okay, so we have completed two halves of soccer, two 45 minute halves of soccer. And the score here is 1 1. We're going to take a break here at Britland Park, Bristol Community College 1, Monroe Community College 1. We'll be right back on your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. <laughs> 
What a game. We didn't have any scoring for the longest time. You talk about a game that's been an exercise in futility for most of the game until the last 10 minutes. Bristol got on the board first. And uh, with Bradley Texera, who was an opportunist, he had a nice header there in front of in front of the net there. And then an unbelievable goal by Monroe that looked like it was shot out of a cannon. Okay, so this is not sudden death. It's a ten minute it's a ten minute half. It's one overtime, ten minute one ten minute overtime half here. And we'll see how it stands here. And there's a boot coming out to both midfield. Monroe has just been tenacious. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get on. Nice. Oh, nice. Go, Bradley. Go. Oh, it's going to stay in bounds. Ooh. How long that shit going to stay on the line? Yo, bro, I don't know, bro. That shit just kept going. Bob, Bob. Lelale. Monroe just with Monroe with good communication. Look at that passing. Oh, taken away. Up to Gilly. Gill. Gill has the opportunity. I oh, hit the post. Nifty footwork by McGill. M.A. and Tunes. Slice through the defense and hit the post. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe it. I'm sure Gilly can't believe it either. Holy cow. Man. Going back the other way. That ball going towards the corner. Six forty five to play here in this overtime period. All right, so we're going to have a kick here from the right sideline. There's a kick headed up in the air. Nice, nice job to get it out of the zone. Good job by Bristol to get it out of there. Nice header. Keep it going forward. And then kicked out of bounds by Monroe. Possession in favor of the Bayhawks. Oh, tripped up. A lot of physicality, especially here in the last 10 minutes or so. Ball, 
Ball around the circle. Oh, nice block. Way to get down and block it. Nice technique. Right into the chest. Ooh. God, Bristol needs to be more patient here. His elves. Elves gets it taken away from him. Takes it back from him. Texera. God, he just needs a little bit more space. Ooh. Both teams have to be tied. Both teams have to be running on fumes. Here's, here's Elliot at midfield. Good defense there by Bristol to get the ball back. Approaching, approaching the three minute mark. And Pinto, the Bristol goalkeeper, will just tap it, tap it ahead. Here's Moda. God, these refs, these refs love blowing the whistle though, don't they? What's that? <laughs> Announcer. Where are you going to announce our games? Huh? Where are you going to announce the girls' games? When, Thursday, right? Thursday. So you do announce yeah. our games already, right? What's that? You've announced our games already. Right? Not yet. Are you going to call my name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my head. <laughs> Less than three minutes to play. There's a man. Ooh. How did he get through there? Oh, man. What was that? That's a miscommunication there. Elliot taps it ahead. Patience, patience. Here's Cavallo. Cavallo gets it over to the right side. Nice job to prevent it from going out of bounds. Elves. Oh, nobody middle. Nobody middle there. Got to come to the ball. Just like in basketball, you got to come to the ball. That ball hit towards the goal. Not threatening. One minute and 45 seconds to play. Here in real time. Score still 1-1. One, one. Yeah. 
Time's a ticking. That ball lingered around midfield. Twenty seconds. Oh, he wanted a call there. That ball's gonna go out of bounds. That time's ticking away. This one looks like it's going to end in a tie here, here in regulation time. And that is going to be it. And that is going to be the end of that overtime period. And we still have a 1-1 score with another 10 minute with another 10 minute overtime to play. We are in double overtime, 1-1 one, one to score. We'll be right back here from Britland Park, 1-1. One, one. What a tremendous game, tremendous day. I'm David Cardozo, we'll be right back here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, it is a beautiful day. Beautiful day for soccer, but we gotta go home someday. One to one, we're underway here in the second overtime. I know both teams wanted to end, end in their favor. God, in the last over in the in the last overtime, kill hear me in tunes for Bristol. He had the right side open and hit the goal post. I've never seen so many players hit the deck in my life. No, that was a big push. Where's the car? No, he like pushed them. I mean, come on, ref. Okay. Come on, it's a ball. Come on, Kai. Better kick it out of trouble. At midfield. Better turn it up. Pressure there, guys. Shut the ball. Jeez Louise. We are stuck here at one to one. Like all day we've been stuck. The sun is going in. Elliot. Elmer with a kick. Oh. And the lime green defender comes out of nowhere to get in front of that one. Now we have a corner kick.
Sehal Dean Hamas, number 22, the freshman with a corner kick. It is up. Can we get a header? It's up. Oh, what a boot. What a save by Monroe. Goodness gracious. Oh, nice boot there by... Couldn't do nothing with it. Elliott at midfield. Number 14. Ball's high. Barriento sauces it in. Hamus to the right side. Found his man, Texera. Texera brings it to the middle. I give credit to the Monroe defense. They have been swarming Bristol all day. What happens after overtime? Cross it, Gil! Ooh, that ball's high, right in front of the goal, the header! Oh! <laughs> Almost with his second header goal of the day. I know that was the tall man. Number 17, Jaldma nice. Tapina Morier. One of the tallest players on the field right now. Win it, why win it? Man. So we got a kick here from the center circle. Right here at the top. There's a boot. Right into a crowd of Bayhawks. Take Serge. These are the two guys you want. They have some numbers. Take Sarah, number seven, falls to the ground again. Monroe looking to advance the ball. They get the ball on the left sideline. And getting it knocked out of bounds there, but it will remain in the possession in the favor of Monroe College. Monroe College travels here from the Bronx. Like I said before, there are two campuses at Monroe College. It's a big establishment, a lot of students. Therefore, therefore, two teams. Bristol Community College last week played the Monroe College Express. Beating them in impressive fashion. Today, they have been in a dog fight. And the goalie comes out and boots that way. Way down there, that was a great boot by the goalie. See if we can get some continuity here. We'll see if we can get some good ball control, Bayhawks. That ball's in no man's land. Here's Gilly. Gilly goes to his left. Gilly to shoot. Man, I think he waited too long. Goalie is down on his knees. Go, 
Oh, how did he keep that one in? That's number 50 going to the middle of the field. And he's going to fall. Shanks. Sh William Shanks is going to get a he's going to get a kick here from the top. William Shanks has been a big talker out there, but one of the leaders of this Monroe team. Shanks up. Oh, what a nice save there. Good job by Shanks to get it up and over the wall there. But good, <coughs> good save by the Bristol goalkeeper, Pinto, Wyatt Pinto. We have less than a minute to play here in the second overtime. There it is right there. Gilly, open field. Oh. And he looks like he's hurt. The goalie, Christian Vargas, he's done a good job today of coming out of the goal and taking up, taking chances. And he took a big chance there. Man. That time is just winding down. Now time will stop, 12 seconds left. Give right, Suze. Give right, give right. There's the boot by Alves. Right into the teeth of the defense. Time is gonna run out on this game, on this opportunity. And that is gonna be it. Two 10 minute Two 10 minute halves, I mean, overtime halves. We played 110 minutes here today from Britland Park. We've had two goals, one by the Bristol Faithful, by the Bristol Bayhawks, and one by Monroe. The final score deadlocked at one. What a contest. Both teams gave it their all here on a sunny day here in mid September. September dreams. Last days of summer.